啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Welcome back to Peepsville.、Um, Blala's been up a little while. Been doing a few bits around the place.、Um, so, because today we plan to work on、uh, getting the port finished. I want to get it finished. I've been in a, a little bit of a slump with it. I can't work out exactly what I want to do、uh, with it, or exactly how I want it to look. But you know what? It doesn't really matter because ultimately. Um, things can be changed at any point, so if I'm not happy with it, I can always、uh, come back and tweak it. So I'm just going to commit to something so that I can move forwards with my、uh, island renovations.、Um, so that's the plan today: is to complete、um, the port. And I've had、um, from Isabel, somebody in、uh, my Discord, found a fantastic、um, pattern to use as the wooden planking. So we're going to.、Uh, Get that and and have a look and see how that goes. First of all, though, this beach towel. So,、um, before I went on holiday,、uh, I was asking about sending in variants,、um, and of course, I've come back and and there was no variants、uh, sent in.、Uh, however,、um, somebody very kindly came onto the Discord to let me know that、um, this is a single item. Um, that you can customise into uh, different uh, bits and bobs, you know, the different variants. So that was that was really nice. I'm really really appreciative、uh, of that. It was、um, Zobi. That was it. Zobi came into the Discord, and apparently、um, she's never used the Discord before, <laughs>、um, and.、Uh, They weren't, you know, a bit of a noob. I think they referred to themselves as. So I appreciate taking the time and、uh, making the effort to to let me know,、um, because that means that I don't need to worry about the time anymore. So there we are.、Um, now I could start、uh, some new、uh, collections, but let me know how you feel about that, because there's definitely a downtick on interest in Animal Crossing,、um, and. Uh, we've got people leaving the Discord now that were very active Animal Crossing players,、um, and、uh, some of them have even been、uh, were even、um, queued to host some of the catalog parties.、Uh, so it's all a bit up in the air now,、um, and、uh, and they left without so much as a. So long and thanks for all the fish. It was a little bit weird,、uh, so I'm not sure if peeps are really interested in.、Uh, Doing these cataloguings anymore?、Um, so let me know、uh, how you feel about it. But for now, I'm not going to start、uh, any any new ones. I think we're just going to crack on with the、um, port.、Um, so now, oh hello,、uh, Mr. Kicks is here.、Uh, welcome, chum. Have a look around. No rush. No rush at all.、Uh, oh, new things that I have never seen in here before. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I think I might have these in pink, but not in blue. I like the can that can has white.、Uh, so you buying? <laughs> yeah, I'm buying. There you go. Very much obliged. <laughs> oh, kicks! I love it when you hear kicks. I appreciate your business, my chum. Anything else you want to buy? <laughs> No, 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 you're okay. Okay, much obliged. Right.、Uh, <laughs> so I noticed something that's in、uh, Nooks here, and、um, there's probably a few items that I'm unaware of that would actually be really good for the docks. I might、uh, have a look through.、Um, but look at this! This is perfect for the dock. I want this. Can can has life ring? Yes, please. Nice and cheap too. And、um, do you know what? I might buy a couple. Might buy a couple of these.、Um, so yeah, fantastic item for、uh, the port. I definitely need to have a look through the catalog and see if there are any more items available.、Um, uh, my turnip price is very low at the moment. Yeah, and、uh, but I checked and it seems that I am gearing up for a small spike this week. A small spike, so not terribly exciting. <laughs> Ah, next stop, Able Sisters. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters.、Uh, thank you, thank you.、Uh, looking good.、Uh, loving this samurai hat. 
Um, right. So, yes, Isabel um, sent me a fantastic code for uh, uh, somebody. Let's, let's check out this code. I've got code here. Yes, I'd like to access the kiosk, please. Um, she sent me a picture of them. They looked amazing. Um, there's there's three to choose from, so I might download each of them and then and and try try the selection and see what see uh, see what I like here. Okay, so let's uh, search by design idea. I think I think it was called Custom Broadwalk. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I think it's an MA. I think it actually might be this code that they put. Right, okay. Let's have a look. There we go. What have we got here? Ta da! Okay. Alrighty, okay, alright. This is a bit more complex and involved than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> going to be honest. We've got a couple more here. Okay, I'm not going to... Because there's a picture. I'll, I'll actually um, uh, put a picture here of uh, what was sent. Um, so you can see that once they're on the floor, they ca uh, they look really quite cool. Um, and I thought there was just going to be four different square types that you could repeat. Uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, and I don't have a lot of slot spaces left for this sort of thing. Um, so, hmm, I suppose the question is, do I go for this dark? I suppose it, I probably should go for this dark one. And then I need to decide, do I want it to go horizontally or vertically? I think I might go horizontally. Um, yeah, and then we've got, yeah, mid... Right, so the horizontal one, two, three, uh, so four, five, six. Um, you know, or do we go for these ones? You know, I feel like a dock would be old and dirty, right? Do you know what I mean? So this sort of feels, this sort of feels right. Um, but um, we've got, yeah, so we've got a couple of ends, wide, dark. Okay wide dark okay so I think this is supposed to be where it ends at the very bottom and this is uh, where you can line multiples up because uh, the little black bit on the bottom isn't isn't as big you know hmm okay do I have enough uh, slots I'm not sure that I do um, these are great, Danny, whoever you are. <laughs> I like them a lot. Um, but yeah, I am pretty, pretty chocker here. Um, I'm going to have to have a think about this. I've managed to fit them all in. So I've got these six here. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to need these three. I think possibly these three uh, will absolutely uh, be enough to do the job. Um, so we've got those, which is fantastic. Um, I've bought uh, more items here that uh, peeps have been sending in. I've even got uh, a bunch of the boxes in here. And talking of boxes, actually, there's a thing I would like to customise. Um, so let's. Uh, there's. Oh, I'm not giving myself much room here. So there's so much stuff. I think um, a bit of a clear out. I've uh, been having a bit of a brainstorm. Um, and I think that I might actually cut this area off um, from the dock space. I think that's that's the thing that's going to happen. So let's um, uh, do the land a business. Um, and what I will do is and get rid of this. Um, what I will probably do is make oh, okay a bit more of a barrier here at some point. separate these two zones I would have thought yeah that's it take a corner off that's it um yeah I think uh, there'll be some changes happening in the dig site uh, so that we can make it a bit more of a separate area compared to compared to this area uh yeah um I I am pretty happy I think with the actual beach area I don't think there's any real changes I need to make here um but I definitely want the 
customs office and I want to be able to to see it to a certain degree and I think I'm going to stick with having these panels making it as though it's a standalone sort of shed shack thing um, here um, but I think we do need to have a little bit of a clear out now I feel like I, I think I've decided the old rusty barrels are something that are more likely um, to not be fresh deliveries of anything but things that are more likely to be in um, what's it the tip that, uh, that I've made um, let's have a look this red one's all right isn't it I think you know that could be oil or something like um, what Mac probably uses for his generator and stuff like that um, and this yellow one is probably going to be fine but yeah this this rusty one I think can also uh, go as well um, so it looks like we're using the blue um, which I was thinking for the blue could be an export of uh, clean spring drinking water. I thought, well, you know, with everything we've got going on here, that would make sense, along with exporting peaches, which is why we've got a few peach boxes down there. That made sense. Um, and then we're importing more of the other types of materials that we're not going to have uh, naturally on the island, although we seem to have more dinosaurs than you can shake a stick at. So I think... Um, I'm just going to pop over here um, and dump these. And I think that I can, I can oops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, I think that uh, I'll end up having to have uh, a bit of a clear out of the, uh, of the dump at some point. Um, dumped. <laughs> and, uh, 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 yeah, quickly. And there. And I actually prefer the, the look of that one. There we go. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. A clear out, I think, is a good idea. Um, let's take a look also at this wood, shall we? Um, let's stick it where that brick is. Um, I feel like I probably have got the right version, but, you know, I don't know. Let's just check. So, let's see. It looks like it's going to be good, though, doesn't it? Uh, let's... Oh. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go. Bit out of practice. Bit out of practice. Doesn't take me long to lose grip. Of... Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Look how diff... That's got something to do probably with the thing that was there. Let's try... No. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, let's take a... I'm pretty sure that... Uh, I think it's because of this type of... That's weird. Is that not weird? Why is this so different? Why is this one so different? Okay. Well, I guess then we won't be needing this one. I'm not. It's, it seems a bit. It sort of seems a bit wrong, doesn't it? Uh, okay. Just got rid of the bricks. So what I might do then is have uh, short slabs, I guess. could not line them all up no. um, I'll put it across the whole area we're just trying to get a feel for it right now um, and if we come back in with this one uh, so that we we can sort of not have the boards line up um, a bit more interest do you see do you see <laughs> I think this could work, couldn't it? I think this is all right, you know. Look at this. God, what was the creator's name? Danny? Hey, that's pretty cool, Danny. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so I think actually, I'm only going to need two out of all of, the, of all of these designs here that I've picked up. I think I need this one and this one. And then I can create this look throughout the entire area. Now, another thing before I go building nutso here 
is the location of the customs office and its orientation. Um, I think I am going to uh, make it a little bit bigger um, and try and actually work out a proper office space. I'll probably have to order a couple of bits as well and things like that. Um, but I think it's going to be somewhere where I'm standing. Uh, I just need to figure out exactly uh, what that orientation will be. Something else I'd quickly like uh, to do is uh, whack this down. Oh, there we go. Boom! And we are... Ooh, now, hang on a minute. I've got a load of different types of cardboard boxes. What's this one like? That's a blank one. That's great. Okay. Don't want any blank... Where did it go? Is it there now? Yeah. Don't want blank boxes anywhere here. So we're going to take those two and these two. Right. And we're going to come over here. Um, because you can create a table cardboard uh, box table so that means I'd be able to pile more boxes on top right um, in addition hang on a minute which here it is it can also oh I don't know if it's going to use the right the right for I want it to do you see my problem I just don't know if it's going to do it uh, we should probably try and drop some of these i don't trust it <laughs> i don't trust it let's try and drop these ones down place that one that's a good that's a good one now that's that can go hang on a minute they can't all be i thought i only had two. Oh, i picked up picked up more though didn't i yeah so let's place this Okay. So many cardboard boxes. Oh, it's a cooler box. <laughs> okay, the simple panels I've been picking up, and then I think that's a normal. Oh, it's not. It's just what I checked, isn't it? So how many have I got now? Who knows? Let's let's see. Let's craft. Do I have four on me yet? Okay, let's craft that. So let's do it. Let's do it. And craft that. We're going to customise this because it seemed like there was a good customisation option for this. Um, so let's have a quick look. Customise the uh, cobble table. Look! Oh, aren't they great? I feel like they're perfect for this. Um, that's that's fine. I'm done there. So I'm going to have a look at all the customization options available for the things that I've got lying around here. Look at this! And what's great about this is that we can then um, throw bits down on top of it, you know, like other cardboard boxes, I would have thought, because uh, it works as a table. That place. See? That's cool. I'm all over that. So we're going to be taking full advantage... Uh, I think of uh, this item um, yeah so I think the first thing is to clear this and, uh, and get the get the old uh, wood laid down so the first thing I did was indeed to start clearing out um, the area where I was intending to put the customs office this then allowed uh, me space so that I could get the wooden planks down. I went with this uh, crisscross pattern so I didn't have to keep changing over the design that had uh, that I had worked out for myself. Um, but before I was going to build the customs office I needed to know how many uh, items I actually wanted it to house um, which would give me an idea of how many desks I would need to get in there which ultimately would give me its shape and size. Um, so I laid them all out um, of the items I was thinking about using um, and had a good look and decided which ones um, I was definitely going to be using inside 
the customs office in the good old butchers and then yeah uh, pulled out the ones that I wanted worked out it was six items and um, started to work out where the wall would absolutely have to be um, so that that secret path along the back of the island could uh, still exist um, and then yeah just started to work out the desk orientation um, for the office um, and now I've only picked up uh, five items um, because there is an item I don't have yet um, that uh, I will be able to get in the future which is the Libra scales I think would look really nice in the customs office um, so I knew I knew I knew I wanted one extra space available and then I could just start uh, laying out the items I certainly didn't get it right at the first time it took me um, a couple of uh, attempts before I was actually really happy with the layout um, of which items went on which table um, believe it or not it took me a little while <laughs> um, but I mean the basic uh, shape was there and what it really allowed me to work out was that I definitely wanted it to feel more enclosed so I raised the land up just behind it um, which I will incorporate into the museum design um, but it just helped give the customs office a little bit more of a, an enclosed feeling and that this port is separate from something that might be next to it which is of course something that I need to repeat on the other side with with the um fossils and then i could just start dressing the dock area really um which is i guess in a way the fun part isn't it once you've worked out the basic structure of, of the area you can start um decorating it with all the items that you want to use and it became clear to me quite quickly that i was going to use this little nook back here to um, place the exports items uh, things that you know like fruit uh, the the peach um, the bum bum fruit uh, is the uh, the peepsville fruit um, native fruit so yeah, it makes sense to be exporting those right um, and then uh, I could work on things that were definitely going to need to be in ports like oils and iron girders and, and the rest of it um, so closer to the dock where they're getting things off the ship just made sense and I had a nice little nook here to fill so I thought you know I should do that and um, fill this little nook up here with an assortment of, of items um, I don't I want it all to look quite random I know it's quite customary when doing one of these um, speed builds to normally take the sound away and the music because of course it's sped up with the image um, and then put some other music over it to talk to but I just thought that it sounded really really fun I liked the way the game sounded after I sped it up so I was like yep yeah, I'll definitely keep this <laughs> and just roll with it um, so I hope you enjoy it too it's quite amusing it's quite amusing what uh, I also noticed was I was definitely going to have to build um, the incline in a slightly different position because I felt that this wall definitely needed interest, um, which meant that the where I initially intended to put the incline was going to go where it needed to go. Here we are. I believe I'm all done here, for now at least. So I've ordered a couple of pieces. Um, as I was talking about, we have here um, some panels to go in. Um, and uh, we need to go and get a staircase to come in here. So instead of it coming forwards this way, we're going to have it coming down the side, um, I think is what we're going to do. And the idea is that this is our, our import section um, over here. Uh, uh, not imports, exports. This is what we're shipping out. And here are um, the imports, things that we're bringing in along with sort of a couple of other bits. And of course our customs office, uh, leaving this space available on the desk for the Libra scales that we should get at some point in the future. Um, and this is going to be a secret path down here. So we've got the pirate ship in a bottle here. Um, and I've ordered a den desk for the custom office. Um, just one for now to see how I feel about it. Um, because I distributed the others to other houses. 
so I had to order another one and then I might make this area just a little bit bigger and this might be sort of um you know uh, uh, not so legit imports uh, coming in over here hence the uh, the pirate bottle that will be over here um, but also still related to customs they absolutely know about it which is why you can access it um, in fact it's probably all of customs uh, doings because let's be honest if you privately own an island out in the middle of nowhere chances are that you're going to be up to no good right <laughs> That's my thinking. Uh, I've also cleared uh, the beach. I'm wondering if having items on this beach is causing problems with Red arriving. So I've moved these items for now. And the next time he shows up, I will try placing them back and, and just see um, if, if, you know, it was causing a problem with him landing. Yeah, uh, that's my plan. Um, so yeah, I've, I've just popped those bits up here for now. Um, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. As I say, I've got a couple of bits on order. Um, but yeah, pretty pleased with it. The docks, you know, it makes sense that this island would need uh, imports and exports um, for stuff coming in and out of the island. Going to need to do a bit more uh, to do a bit more work over here. Um, to just to I really want to I think isolate the dig site from the docks uh, which means I need to get a wall up here another layer of land um, so it looks quite uh, deep um, inside here um, but of course this isn't wide enough so I'm going to have to build into the dig spot a bit but I don't want to lose much space from it so I'm probably gonna have to bring the dig site down a bit <laughs> uh, so we'll probably be doing that at some point um, so that we can get a, a bit of a wall up around around here uh, I think that will be uh, pretty good um, just giving that segregation there um, but what I'm probably going to work on next because to be honest I really need to get another house down I need to get the museum house down uh, because I need the storage um, and something like that's going to be happening around here where are we on the map actually uh, where is this okay all right, not not too bad. Um, so this is, uh, I think, roughly where the museum is going to be going, and I've got uh, I've got more clear plans for that than I did the uh, the port. Um, uh, yeah. So I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking, and if um, you've got anything, any ideas yourself that that, that might make it uh, better, improve upon it. I would be very, very grateful. Or any items that are available in game um, that I haven't got hold of yet that you think would be really great um, for the port. Let me know. Yeah. Um, right. So we need to go and speak. Uh, to Nook uh, because we need to get some uh, a staircase in now I have to be careful with uh, case staircases because of course I've used three for my camping site you can only have eight of them on the island the ramp so um, this will be my fourth it's a thing to uh, to consider right Nook here we go hello hello uh, this is the construction consultation counter um yeah let's talk about infrastructure actually look let's try yeah let's do it let's see bridges and inclines now i'm not sure if i want to stick with this brick thing that i've been doing let's build an incline lovely yes yes Right, so what are we thinking here to go down to the docks? Yeah, I don't... I'm thinking maybe I might just return to classic because I've been using these ones. But I'm not sure if I really like them. <laughs> so it could be. These are great. I'm happy with these for the uh, camping area. Um, do you know... An actual ramp for the docks makes sense um, for getting the goods um, to higher land, doesn't it? And I'm thinking if I'm going to have a proper marketplace, it being near the docks also makes sense. Um, but these are just a little bit garish for me. I would like a natural wood one, um, but there doesn't appear to be one. So maybe we should just go with the uh, the absolute classic 
ramp <laughs> you know absolute classic ramp um, and again it can be changed later and going with a natural ramp it's nice and cheap you're not really wasting too much money yeah let's get it excellent thank you for the kit yeah i'm hoping that i have prepped enough space for it what we're going to do is uh, grab the money um as well so let's um let's oh would that be technically it would be but it wouldn't leave me with very much would it do you know what oh. take the full amount there we go excellent that'll do that will do right as you can see i'm uh, saving up for the next house build um, which is going to be um near the museum um and I've got lots of stuff I need to put into the storage there. My house storage is becoming really problematic. Uh, so very keen to get this dock done um, because it is sort of dictating the space I have available for, for the museum. Um, and of course I need to move the, move the museum before I can do what I want to do with my house. Um, and I'm very keen to sort my house out. So let's, let's come down here. Um, probably have to remove some of these trees at some point. Okay. Just so I can see what I'm doing. See this this tree is very annoying, isn't it? Right. Build here. Can we uh, imagine it? <laughs> She's imagining it, everyone. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking it looks pretty good thinking it's looking pretty good it might actually be it's very difficult to see at the same time <laughs> um it might actually be a bit smaller than i was thinking let's uh i need to rethink a minute i've got a feeling if i bring it forwards one i'm too far away then aren't i let's build here yeah okay well, all right then how do I feel about the ramp ending here? Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. Uh, okay, I'm committing. Look at that. Do I want to move it forwards one? Do you know, I, th I think I might actually. I need to rethink. Right. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I feel like it needs to move forwards just a little bit more. Let's start up construction. And build forwards a bit. It's actually just a little bit smaller than I was expecting. So let's just grab this. Build this up. And lovely. Now, now. Uh, build this. Yeah. I think I like that. Let's, let's imagine it. Yeah, that tree. This would be much easier if I chopped that tree down. Uh, okay, yes, it's happening. We're doing it. We're committing. Brilliant. Okay. Now I'm going to instantly pay it off. Hello, good friend. Lovely. Y yes, sure. I'll help by giving you as much as possible. There we go. Oh, their voice. So high and squeaky. <laughs> Excellent. We're having a little party down here, me and this uh, gyroid. Gyroid? Gyroid? Excellent. Nice. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty sweet. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and I like this little dodgy market that's going to be happening down here. Dodgy trade-ins. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, alrighty, alrighty, let's get out of here, ah, okay, yeah, definitely need to move that tree, I think, and then, um, yeah, we'll be, this will be uh, really, really hidden, even behind the museum, totally hidden, I think, um, and yeah, so we're, we're building this wall up, um, because we're going to uh, sort of encase the museum a little bit um, and give it like a little courtyard area. Uh, 
so pretty happy about that. Mac was thinking about moving out. I've asked him to stay. Um, and I gave him the, the bone the bone door plate. He's not put it up yet. He's not had it long enough. So maybe tomorrow we can see the bone door plate um, going in. That might be pretty cool. And I'll also be able to decide whether I want to order more den desks for the port and stuff like that. And we'll be able to get the walls finished at the back over there. See the ramp in. Um, do you know what would be nice, actually, is to see what the dot looks like at night. Because I've got quite a lot of lanterns kicking around. Um, and I'd like to, yeah, I think get an idea of what it might look like in the evening uh, time. See if, it, see if it looks all twinkly and pretty. Look how glistening the lanterns are! Aren't they so pretty? Let's let's go down there. And uh, uh oh, I'm in the way. Oh, what's this face? Lloyd, is it? <laughs> oh, I like the lanterns. Look at them. <laughs> oh, that that one's popping in and out. Too close to it. Ah, oh, I have to too too close into the foreground. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me know what what, what you think. And uh, do you know what I'd like? Seagull sounds. That would be pretty nice. Um, I wouldn't mind that, to be honest. Oh look, there's a glow bug. <laughs> Adding to the atmos. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my patrons for their continued support.